We just made it to Custer in South Dakota where Lotte from Norway is spending her exchange year. We're super excited to visit her. She's gonna show us her favorite hike and her American high school. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi. Oh, I'm sorry. Nice to meet you. Hi guys. Hi. How's it going? Good. <laughs> Like the last two exchange students, and then I'm gonna get one. Isn't that that's cool? That's so fun. And so is this one in Custer? Yeah. Yeah. That's Custer. Wow. <laughs> Room tour. Woo! Yay! <laughs> oh, this is so nice. <laughs> I love and it. And look at all of this. Is that your prom proposal? Yeah. Yeah. And I got a sweatshirt too. Really? Yeah, where it said his name. His name was Levy. And then Levy's prom date. <laughs> it was really I love cool. That. <laughs> so how was prom? Was that fun? Oh, that was so much fun. I just loved it. Yeah. And uh, some of like it's really different from like what I was used to. Mm -hmm. But uh, I had a blast. <laughs> yeah. This was the welcome sign, and this is like South Dakota, the blue. Oh. And it's, then did your host mom make that herself? Yeah. And, like the stars where Custer is. And then are these all like memories from Norway or is it yeah. something here? Um, this is from Norway and this is from camp and this is my IC group. And this wall is more like when I have a bad day or something. Yeah. I can just look at, you know, here's some text from like my best friend. Yeah. And here's from my cross country team when the season was done mm -hmm. and where it's still like good luck. Here is from my IEC. Yeah. The first time we met her, um, she gave us each of us a box like this, mm -hmm. and then we can put down memories. Um, so if mm -hmm. we're homesick, we can look at it later. Mm -hmm. Kind of positive box. That's such a good idea. Yeah. I love that. That's a good idea for other yeah. exchange students too. Definitely. And. I see there, you got your boots? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm a true South Dakota when I have boots. <laughs> so fun. Yeah, I just got awesome. it. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> so we're here with Lotte. Thank you so much for wanting to share your story and tell us about your experience. Thank you. Do you want to tell us why you chose to go on exchange? I always wanted to go on an exchange um, from like when I was a kid because I watched like a lot of American movies and TV shows like High School Musical and Hannah Montana and all that kind of American stuff. And also when I started fifth grade, a good like friend of me, she went on an exchange oh, and she started like a blog. So I was reading that and I was like, yeah, I'm definitely going to do this. What did your parents think about you wanting to go on exchange here? They were extremely supportive because they knew that I, this this was my dream. This was what I always wanted to do. So I applied and just from the minute I applied, they were just like, this is gonna be cool. This is gonna be so much fun. And they tried to make it as easy for me as they could. Like when I left um, in the airport in Norway, they would just be like, see you later. Because it's, it's just 10 months, you know, it's just, it's kind of not goodbyes, just like a see you later. And you're living now in Custer, South Dakota. When you got your placement, did you know, did you even know that was a place? Uh, no, <laughs> I never heard about Custer. I've heard about South Dakota, but I didn't know a lot. I was just like, what's there, you know? So I was like, I was super excited. And I just searched up like, what's there? like the school, how many people lives there. Uh, it was really exciting. I got like this bubble feeling. And you got your placement and you're living with Susan, yeah. who we met and who is amazing. What, how was it the first time you, when you came to the airport and you met her for the first time? I was really nervous. Uh, so me and Simon, the one guy that I flew in with, uh, we could see our host parents 
So we were walking in and we were like turn around because we were like, what are we gonna say? <laughs> what are we gonna do? But then we walked out and it was all just fine. Like gave her a hug and it just felt like, like, like a good feeling. Like this is where I'm gonna be. And it felt just right from the moment I met her, I guess. That's so nice. Yeah. And what do you guys do together? We will eat breakfast together, like make coffee and have our morning talk. And we drive together to school every day. Right, because she's a teacher at your high school. Yeah, she's a teacher at my high school. Uh, so we just like talk a lot. And we will go to church every Sunday, uh, which I actually love. Do you want to tell me a little bit about you guys going to church together? Yeah, that's definitely something I recommend doing because when I, like, when I heard before I came that it's a very common thing to do every Sunday, I was like, mm, I, I don't know, I'm not used to it, you know? And do I really want to do that? But then I was like, yeah, I'm going to try it. And uh, we go up to Rapid City. That's like 45 minutes away. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just loved it because it's a lot more different than Europe and it's fun. It's actually really fun. They have fun songs and um, they talk about things like everyday life. Mm -hmm. So it's just a nice thing to do with your family because you have something to talk about afterwards. That's nice. And it's nice spending just time together. It's yeah. Like valuable it's like, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Family time. Mm -hmm. Sunday is kind of like a family day, I feel like. That's awesome. Really nice. And so your host mom is a teacher at your school. Mm -hmm. How did that help or did that help when you just got here? Yeah, it really helped because already the first week I came when it still was like summer vacation. She took me to school and showed me around the school so I could walk through my classes. And uh, like when we were signing up for classes, people would come in and she was like, well, this is my exchange student. You should say hi to her. And I just got a lot of like friends already. And uh, I met my best friend, Katie, before school. So already the first day she would watch out for me yeah. and like be there. So I felt, felt like it was all good. <laughs> what kind of classes are you taking now? Um, I'm taking Spanish four and pottery with my host mom. Fun, yeah. <laughs> and uh, American lit and chemistry. Biology 2, U.S. History, and Free Cup. So you're busy in school. Mm -hmm. Are you doing any after school activities? Uh, not right now, mm -hmm. uh, but I did cross country. That was the first thing I did. And then I did, I've done two plays, just finished the last one. Um, because my host mom, she's like the drama coach. So I get to spend some time with her. And the drama department is amazing. Like the people are so welcoming. Or, um, really nice people. I just love spending time with them. And it's a nice way to improve your accent. So because they will help you kind of like if you say a word wrong or not wrong, but with a thick accent, they will like help you. Like you kind of say this way, maybe it will help. And then it just really so helps you're a lot. That's super nice. So when you're not in school and you're hanging out with friends, what do you guys usually do here in Custer? Um, we drive around since here they get their license at 14 or 16. Right. So we drive around and we sometimes we go hiking. We go shopping in Rapid City or we just hang out doing like pretty normal American things, I guess. Go out and eat. So. <laughs> We 
we talked a little bit about this earlier. You said that when you first got here, you were trying to kind of like focus on life here. And you also said that you haven't been very homesick. Yeah. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that and how you've handled, you know, still having your life back in Norway, but also having a completely new life here in Custer? I just, I was so busy. And a lot of my friends, I think, were kind of chapped because they were like, why aren't you texting me? And we're not talking as much anymore. And I just, I made them this snap story, like a private one, where I would post things every day. And I told them, here, you can see my life and what I do every day, um, instead of me have to text, like text you every day. So if you want to talk or talk about something you see, then you can text me and still you can see what I'm doing. And so, you know, this is like, it's only once in a lifetime. Yeah. And you only get one, like, let's say this day, you, you can never get back. So I just want to spend every opportunity I have to be with American friends and American family and kind of just get the whole experience. Yeah, and you'll have plenty of time to hang out with your friends yeah. in Norway when you're back in Norway too. Right. And then you can tell them all the stories as well. Yeah. But I think that's a nice way. I mean, whether you're doing a Snapchat story or Instagram stories or if you're writing a blog, it's kind mm -hmm. of a nice way to keep your friends and family back home updated on what's happening without having to constantly be in touch with them. Yeah. And I think that's really smart of you. Yeah, it really helps. So before you got to South Dakota, mm -hmm. you actually spent some time at camp. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to tell us about that? Um, so yeah, I flew into New York uh, with a bunch of Norwegians and uh, I got the 10 best days of my life, I guess. Um, it was just like, uh, you know, you got a roommate, you got, that I got super close to, which um, she was from another country. She was from Denmark and we became like camp sisters. And we had like a class, um, which we um, spent all our times with classes where we learned about uh, American culture, uh, we got to taste on like, you know, we, I mean, <laughs> American food, like um, candy or root beer. Um, oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. How was that? <laughs> I was like, the first time I tasted it, I was like, this, this tastes like Tiger Balm. Mm -hmm. But after I tasted it like more, mm -hmm. it, so now, now you really like good. it. Now yeah. I really <laughs> like it. Um, but like, um, we did a lot of American stuff and it was just like a good place to come and like, you know, kind of calm your nerves down and getting prepared, just talk, like speaking English, getting used to it before meeting your host family. And also talking about uh, questions I should ask my host mom or how I should introduce myself. And just like a small things, which is really important right now, mm -hmm. I see now that it really meant a lot. And I got friends from all over the world uh, that I still have um, contact with and I can reach out to them when I have a bad day or when they have a bad day, they can talk to me because we understand each other. I think exchange students really understand how each other feels, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's super nice. Yeah. And so CAM, for those of you who don't know, is basically 10 days that you can go to before your exchange year and it's kind of like a, you know, a cultural transition and you yeah. get to meet a ton of other exchange students from, like you said, all over the world. Yeah. You get to have some, try some high school classes <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, and obviously you had a great time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was amazing. So to kind of just wrap all of this up, do you have any tips for future exchange students? Yeah, I do. I really recommend um, doing drama. Um, even though you've never tried it or you're kind of like scared, but I think it's really good for your accent and it's good to like get more of like the English language into your mind or like the way of thinking. Because when I started drama, I had a very thick Norwegian accent. I'm pretty sure I had. But after I, like my friends had corrected me in a nice way, you know, not like you're wrong, but it's more like help me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just felt like, well, now I understand how to say the R, 
you know, yeah. or how to pronounce different words that sounded kind of awkward. Mm -hmm. And like, just be open-minded, um, have a good attitude, just be like, things is not gonna be like Europe. It's not gonna be like your home country. So you gotta be open-minded about new things. And uh, also just say yes to things that if people invite you out to just the gas station on a, like a little road trip, I feel honored. I, I just, you know, just do stuff like that because it will make more of the American experience, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm sure that if any of you guys have any more questions about South Dakota or about <laughs> drama or anything else um, about exchange or camp, I'm sure Lotte is more than happy to answer those. So yeah. we'll include her contact information in the box below. But thank you so much for sharing your experience with us. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. did I get this cool Black Hills sweater. We also got to visit Lotte's American High School and her and her best friend Katie took us to Custer State Park. Now it's time for another state and our next student. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss our videos as they come out. Let's go!